Hello Arun, welcome to case 7 of this OSCE series. So here we have a 20 year old male uh, with facial dysmorphism or hypertelorism and an MRI brain was ordered for this patient and these are the MRI brain pictures. These are axial T1 weighted images where we can see the parallelly oriented lateral ventricles. These are the axial T2 weighted images where again we can appreciate parallel orientation of the lateral ventricles with high riding third ventricle. These are the coronal flare images where we can see this uh, elongated frontal horns of the ventricles. These are sagittal images where there is complete absence of corpus callosum. Even mirrored images. So, what are the findings based on these images? What is the diagnosis? name the signs that are seen in this condition and were also seen on the images and what are the associated conditions i'll give you some time to think about the findings so this is the report that i had given a widely spaced parallel configuration of the lateral ventricles giving a racing car appearance was seen on the axial sections both of t1 as well as t2 weighted images along with dilatation of the trigone as well as the occipital horns of bilateral lateral ventricles that is colpocephaly along with that there was dilatation of the third ventricle with high riding third ventricle communicating with the interhemispheric cistern and on the sagittal images there was complete absence of the corpus callosum seen on both t1 as well as t2 weighted images so the two important signs that are associated with this condition that were seen on these images as well are racing car sign particularly on the axial sections where we can see uh, the widely spaced lateral ventricles because of the agenesis of the corpus callosum and the intervening proboscis bundles the appearance on axial mri or ct uh, are reminiscent of a formula one race car hence giving uh, uh, this name uh, to the sign that racing car sign where the tires represent the widely spaced frontal horns and the dilated trigones. These are the frontal horns and these are the dilated trigones of this racing car. The second important sign is the moose head appearance also called the viking helmet appearance which refers to the morphology of the lateral ventricles in the coronal sections because of the dysgenesis of the corpus callosum. The cingulate gyrus is elevated into narrowed and elongated frontal horns which appear like uh, the horns of uh, uh, the moose head or uh, the viking helmet coming to the associations of uh, dysgenesis of corpus callosum so uh, uh, corpus callosum agenesis or dysgenesis can be associated with a, a lot of syndromes the aneuploidy syndrome important aneuploidy syndromes that are to be remembered are trisomy 18 13 and trisomy 8 and non aneuploidy syndromes include Icardi syndrome, Apert syndrome, and Zellweger syndrome. The other CNS associations that are to be remembered and to be looked for on any imaging are KRE2 malformation, Dandy Walker spectrum, gray white matter, heterotopia, holoprosen cephaly, hydrocephalus, interhemispheric cysts, intracranial lipomas, polymicrogyria, schizencephaly. Also, uh, it can be associated with some inborn errors of metabolism like non-ketotic hyperglycemia and mucopolysaccharidosis.